Hello everyone, this is Detesco from iBlogZone. Uh, today I will show you how you can uh, make your website mobile compatible. So uh, as you can see I've already started to create my own. Uh, actually I'm just, uh, I've already created one. Uh, I am just uh, right now experimenting with the other features that you can do with this um, really cool tool that Duda Mobile and uh, Google have uh, provided uh, for everyone to use for free. So basically what happens is, let's go back here and this is your starting point. Mm -hmm. uh, clicking on the link that I provide on my blog post which you can uh, access via the uh, link I provide on the description. Um, this is your first uh, contact with this uh, page. So uh, let me just go through uh, this uh, service with you real quick. W uh, what this is is that Google is actually sponsoring um, your website so that you can uh, make it website uh, mobile compatible and it's actually being the service is actually being offered by Duda Mobile. So, uh, Google says on their official blog post that the uh, service is free, but um, once you get here, you will notice that uh, it says that it's one year premium service for free, and after that, you're going to be paying nine dollars a month. Uh, I think it's still a reasonable price considering what uh, the service can give you, and. Uh, after all, after one year, I mean, who knows what's going to happen. So, meantime, you can enjoy and have your website mobile compatible. And this way, uh, even if a user comes from uh, uh, browsing from a smartphone or a portable mobile device, they will always have a pretty good uh, experience when visiting your site. Okay, so once you get to this page, uh, it's really easy. The first thing you have to do is just enter your URL. So in my case, I already did it here. And so once you hit this button, it's going to take you to this page. Something like this, right? This is uh, another site of mine. I'm just uh, using this right now to show you uh, what uh, Do the Mobile will do as soon as it detects your website. So what's gonna what's gonna happen is that uh, your site will be detected as a blog if it's a blog, and you will be immediately uh, shown uh, this part here, which is the actual uh, site that you're going to be looking at if you're uh, browsing through a, a smartphone, for example. In this case, uh, we're simulating the iPhone. Okay, so basically what you have is choices between blog or website. The blog, basically what it does is that it just lists all your blog posts right here. So that's that. Uh, if you want it to be like that, obviously that's your choice. Uh, if your site has pretty good images, like say for example, you know, you have a recipe site or stuff like that, you can use uh, you have here a wide selection of themes that you can use you can actually just click on this let's just go ahead and click on this and see what's going to happen um, so yeah so in this case what it does is it shows you immediately how your website is going to look uh, on a mobile phone so as you can see it's basically uh, also the same blog post and with the images of uh, each post that you have. Um, uh, in my uh, experience, I, I found out that these images are actually being extracted from uh, your featured image, uh, uh, featured image if you have it on WordPress, and it might or it might not uh, pick it up. Uh, if you have a, a platform which is different from WordPress, so it's like if you're a blogger, well actually you don't have to use this for blogger. Blogger has its, has its own mobile compatibility uh, platform, but this is basically for any other type of websites. But anyway, so the idea is this one. So if you want to choose a blog, you, uh, you can choose 
any of these templates. Let's, so let's just go back here real quick. And after that, uh, you can go ahead and click the next button. So clicking on the next button, you're going to be uh, uh, given the possibility now to do a lot of edits. Okay? But, uh, all right. So what I want to do now is show you my other site, which is actually this one, iBlogZone. And as you can see, it's got a quite a different layout right now. It's pretty cool. It's different from uh, this one. Yeah. And the, uh, the, the, uh, the way you can do this is like this. So basically, once uh, you are on a choose a team, you're given the option either to use the blog templates or the website template. So in this case, what I did was I chose website template. So if you do that on the other site that I had a while ago, just go back here on the select teams again and go on website template it's going to ask you it's going to tell you that you're going to lose all your your changes you just go ahead and say yes it's not going to nothing's going to happen unless you you save it so let's just look at it this, this way right now okay so as you can see it's uh, totally totally different I, I i actually like it much better this way but as i said that's your option and again, you have another, a lot of teams here that you can use and choose to, for, for whatever it is you feel is uh, more uh, appropriate for you. Actually, a lot of, a lot of real teams here, and uh, you can just go ahead and browse and choose whatever you want. Um, it's got some, some themes that are actually tailored for specific sites already. Like if you have a, for example, a I don't know, pizza site, <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, it's good for real estate. It looks like more generic, like this one. Um, so going back to my site, again, uh, I chose this one, which is a little bit generic. It's got basically the same colors as my, my uh, original theme. And what you, what you do now is after that is you just click the next button. Okay, from here, you will have this series of options where you can edit the header. Um, as you can see, I've already added my logo, but what you can do is you can also edit that one. Uh, just click here and choose whatever, whatever size you want. You want to make it bigger, you want to make it smaller. You can see here it's getting smaller. You can um, actually change the image if you want. You can put a link to it if you want. You can change this link anytime you want um, the design you can change the colors basically a, a lot of real options and here on more section you can you know put the padding see if you like the margins and going back to edit for example you can even choose the alignment here you can center it left whatever as you can see it's really got a lot of options after that all you have to do is click done and you can edit the navigation menu. For example, here it's got a lot of options. You can change the colors, it's change the links. Uh, Jesus, I, I can't go through all of this because it's really a lot of things. Uh, this is what the cool part, it's r the remove content part. Um, because Do the Mobile will extract all the information directly from your website, you what you're gonna have is you're gonna basically have all the elements that you had. A while ago I had my sidebar here and it really didn't look good. Uh, for mobile purposes I, I really don't like the sidebar showing so what I did was I deleted them and it's really very easy. The only thing you do is you, you start clicking here and you hover and if you like that you just say select and that's what I did on my sidebars. Once you did that you click it and then just click on this delete selected elements button done and you're good to go so okay so i'm going to sk skip that part uh, as you can see i think it's 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 much better my is nice looking again you have a lot of options here to choose from so once you're satisfied with wha how it looks and all that stuff just go click the next button and here is where the uh, uh, the final uh, procedure happens once you hit the save my changes button what it's going to do, okay, let's look. I just go ahead and click that one. 
it says that your mobile site has been saved you click the next button and do the mobile will give the this code it's a real tiny little script code that you're going to uh, copy and paste uh, on um, on your blog right where the under the head tag so um, let's take a quick preview of uh, of how it looks all right it's pretty cool so you, if you rotate it, it looks like this you can choose Android you can see how it looks on an iPhone on a Windows phone on a Blackberry these are pretty much the uh, most popular um, smartphones there is so go back to smart to, to iPhone for example let's rotate this a little bit if you someone if you click on this I, 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 this post for example you can have an idea of how this blog post will look like on a mobile phone so as you can see it's it's great all lined up perfectly readable um, everything's resized all nice the user doesn't have to move the screen uh, you know either way either side they can read it very very cool I, I like it so there you go um, this is just a quick uh, demonstration of how you can make your website uh, mobile compatible I think it's really a good option that uh, you should seriously consider if you don't have your website compatible yet to mobile uh, and it's free at least for one year okay well good luck and uh, thanks for watching this is um, another video presentation from uh, the Tesco of um, iBlock Zone bye bye thank you